Many concepts in AC circuits are best understood by considering them as vector quantities. A vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. Therefore, to completely specify a vector quantity requires more than one value. Examples of quantities that have both magnitude and direction include force, velocity, and acceleration. For comparison, here are some quantities that are not vectors. Quantities that are not vectors are called scalars. They require only one number to fully describe them. Examples include speed, temperature, charge, energy, time. In fact, all the electric quantities we are familiar with from our study of DC circuits are scalar quantities. They can be fully described using only one value. Now, we need a way to distinguish scalar and vector quantities when we write them, and there are several conventions. First, for example, if you're reading a textbook, the vector quantities will normally be typed written in a boldface font. Of course, when we're writing vectors by hand, we can't make boldface fonts easily. So we have a couple of other conventions. The first one is to simply underline the variable name, as shown here. And another method is to use a, an arrow on top, like this. The arrow is a half arrow, which we call a harpoon. So this is a harpoon to the right. And this is the convention that we will use in this series. It's convenient to represent vector quantities using arrows. When we do so, the length of the arrow represents the magnitude of the quantity, and the direction is indicated by the arrow's orientation with respect to some reference point. 